Big exciting news to start your afternoons. Well, actually, to continue your afternoons, so it's not the start of the afternoon, dude. Uh, is that Mitch McConnell could be coming back? Yeah, the guy with the uh, hands and the lobster and the uh, inability to give you stimulus checks could be coming back. But the question is whether his buddies in the Senate could be coming back as well. Ironically, Nancy Pelosi's plans to overthrow the Senate, uh, overthrow, to take down the Senate and make it a Democratic uh, haven may not be going well. And a new report out minutes ago that says that fortunes from Wall Street have gone on into Joe Biden's campaign. Ironically, they're not spending money in the correct point, which is the Senate. If the Senate comes back Republican, then Nancy Pelosi's highway or her way is kapoof. It's then the road <laughs> or the toad. This is McConnell versus Trump. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. You know, road or toad. I just came up with that on the spur of the moment. Hope you're good and safe. This is a really incredible good afternoon. I'm so glad that you joined me. You know, it's been a tough day on Afternoons L. I, I saw, if you saw the first video, um, you certainly saw my demeanor. France's lockdown is something that I'm really sort of wishing my deepest wishes for the people of France. Italy could be next. England could be next. But I got to keep our positive message on point. I got to focus on our stimulus. And we're going to do that right now. So go to the French channel, subscribe, because no one's going to keep you more motivated, more positive, more focused, and uh, more determined to get your stimulus than you and I. It's going to be a rough ride, and we're not, we're not, we're not uh, deers in headlights. We're not, <laughs> whatever the expression is, we're not rose-colored glasses, but we're going to get to it together. And so also like this video. It's really helping the algorithm. Uh, the algorithm is, uh, you know, looking as bad as, as crazy as Mitch McCall's hands lately. In this video, I'll be going over the Senate races, why your stimulus is so geared upon the Senate races, and why broadcast media is just not really understanding that. Broadcast media keeps on talking about the presidency, the presidency, and the presidency, which ultimately has nothing to do with your stimulus, well, a lot, almost nothing to do with your stimulus, not nothing, but almost nothing. Donors and Mitch, why donors are throwing millions and millions and millions of dollars at Mitch and his GOP races, and that they're not doing it for the deal, the Democratic races in the Senate. And finally, donors and Joe. Joe Biden getting fortunes, record numbers from Wall Street. But is Wall Street betting on the wrong place at the wrong time? <laughs> uh, let's get to the breaking details. The breaking details is that last report. A new report says that Joe Biden's candidacy will finish the cycle with $74 million of money with absolute record sums from Wall Street. People in the securities and investment industry, Wall Street, will finish this cycle contributing $74 million to Joe Biden. Um, this is a much larger sum than Donald Trump has ever raised from Wall Street, according to a new nonpartisan Center for Responsive Politics. The numbers that are coming in are just jaw-dropping. And it's generally from individual rich guys. Um, <laughs> just, I'm not mincing my words in this video. Former Goldman Sachs President Harvey Schwartz, $100,000 just this month. Uh, Biden is getting is getting $330 million here, another $100 billion there. Biden's campaign chairman, Steve, Steve Ricchetti, met with finance executives in January, encouraging to get a lot of money from Wall Street. And since then, those uh, donors to Joe Biden's campaign have included Roger Altman, Blair Efron, Blackstone Head, Citigroup's chief ex executive, Center Bridge's partner's co-founder, former U.S. ambassador to France. I mean, it's just absolutely incredible. Henry Lawfer, who was the Renaissance chief scientist and vice president of research, gave $625 million to American Bridge, PAC, and Donald Sussman, uh, $9 billion to various super PACs of Biden. $9 million. $9 million. 
Uh, as viewers of this co channel have talked about, and I certainly want to say it as well, because it's a great message, is, okay, all these people are spending $75 billion on Joe Biden's election. How about they spend that money on the American people? How about you donate $75 million to the American people who need stimulus relief right now? Imagine how much stimulus could be sent out to millions of Americans with $75 million. Um, you know, it's it's just it, it it's disconcerting. Someone asked the question: Can they do that? Are they allowed to give money? That I mean, yeah. But here's the big here's the big twist: is that no one's giving money to the Senate Democrats. <laughs> It's just uh, Chuck Schumer can't get anyone to give money to the Senate Democrats. And Mitch McConnell, with his Judge Barrett nomination and his standing up to Nancy Pelosi, whether it's good or bad for, for us or you, is absolutely getting hoard over fist of money from big campaign donors. So what does this mean for you? What it means for you is that Wall Street broadcast news and everyone else simply has lost the point. The point is that your stimulus relief is not tied to $75 billion to Joe Biden. Your stimulus relief is tied to how many hundreds of billions of millions of dollars, excuse me, did I say billion? Million. How many hundreds of millions of dollars have been given to the GOP Senate races? Yes. What's important to understand is that your path to stimulus goes through the Senate and never reaches the presidency, despite whoever is elected. What's important to understand is that Mitch McConnell is coming back. What's important to understand is that Mitch McConnell and the president are working hand in hand together this week and last week. What's important to understand is that Mitch and the president want to both come back and be reelected. And what's important to understand is that if Mitch and the GOP retain ownership and, and domination of the Senate, it's not Nancy's way or the highway. It's the road of the toad, because literally everything that Nancy Pelosi has bet on has fallen apart. It's important to understand where this has gone awry. Let me explain. A major new report today from CNN talks about, CNBC actually, talks about how there is deep concerns on Wall Street that a Biden win may not give you stimulus for many weeks to come. <laughs> and it's based upon the idea, okay, there's a different president. Uh, talk about bad reporting. This is really incorrect reporting. I'll explain to you why. Because if Mitch McConnell and the GOP, yeah, I'm starting the sentence. You can probably finish the sentence right for me right now. If Mitch McConnell and the GOP win the Senate, Joe Biden's hope for stimulus is not coming in January. It may never come because the GOP is never going to give Nancy Pelosi her $3.4 trillion or, or Joe Biden's $7.1 trillion infrastructure bill. Mitch McConnell's just going to laugh at it and say, you think, uh, who do you think you're dealing with? And that news report and other news reports today are just talking about your stimulus tied to Joe Biden's win when it has nothing to do with Joe Biden and has everything to do with the Senate. Let me explain why. When you write a bill, for stimulus, whether it's second stimulus, first stimulus, or third stimulus, you write a bill and it starts in the House. Okay, Nancy Pelosi, we all got that. She writes the bill. She's coming back. Yeah, she's coming back. I got it. She's coming back. And this House will be Democratic. President Trump yesterday said it's going Republican. It's not going Republican. It's going to be Democratic. So she writes a bill. She sends it to the Senate. Okay, what happens at the Senate? <laughs> <laughs> There's a wastebasket at the entrance of the Senate. Uh, that's Mitch McConnell's wastebasket. That's where most of what Nancy Pelosi sends him goes. It dies. It literally dies. That's what Mitch, Nancy Pelosi has talked about since May. So if Mitch McConnell and his buddies are reelected and control the Senate after election night, then everything that Nancy Pelosi has been trying to scheme on, 3.4, 4.4, 1.2, and whatever number it is, it's not her way or the highway anymore. Because Mitch McConnell's going to say, did you not learn from me last year in, in middle 2020? I told you you can't just do things your own way. I'm just going to throw in the wastebasket. You have to deal with me and agree with stuff with me. You can't just tell me it's your way. And he can do that, even if there's a Joe Biden in the presidency. Joe Biden will never get a bill because it will never get out of Mitch's house, well, Senate. Uh, it will never get out of Mrs. Chambers, the Senate. That's how Congress works. And so what's very, very peculiar is that broadcast news is talking about, well, your stimulus may be held up because Trump may lose, and your stimulus may be held up because Biden may win. Oh, no. <laughs> That's just incorrect. 
let me give you examples. Biden wins, and the Senate remains GOP. Then you don't have to wait to January because January is going to look the same as it looks today. The Senate is still GOP. Next, Trump wins, and the Senate remains GOP. You don't wait any day. You do it the next morning because it's basically the status quo. And that's where things are getting sort of screwy, is that broadcast news is giving fake narratives or confusing narratives, and that people are getting very confused very quickly. So let's go to the Senate. Will the Senate go GOP? Will the Senate go Democratic? And what could happen for your stimulus? What's important to understand is timing. And I've been detailing that a lot on this channel over the last few days, and I will be detailing it all the way up to election night and after election night. As we sit here tonight, the, or this afternoon, the important thing to understand for the Senate races is you may not know which party controls the Senate on election night. Yes. There's a reason why you may not know. One, because the races may be too close to call. Two, there may be some races where it will acquire by state law a runoff because the race is too close as a dead heat. Or three, there's a contested election. All of that and more could mean a lot of uncertainty. So what's important for you and I to understand today as we sit here today is that don't wake up on Wednesday morning and say, oh, Mitch got elected. Oh, God, we're back to the same old thing. No, Mitch has nothing to do with stimulus. It's whether the GOP maintained control of the Senate. There are three situations that will happen on Wednesday morning. One, we will know one party controls the Senate or not. Next, we will know the other party controls the Senate or not. Or three, we won't know either party controls the Senate or not. We simply won't know the answer. And with that, there's a lot at stake. Donors and Mitch um, and your stimulus. Has Mitch McConnell standing up to Nancy Pelosi actually got Mitch and the GOP senators actually more money? It's There's a theory that I've been pushing on this channel, which is really quite interesting, that Nancy Pelosi's attempt to spend money on things that are not stimulus for state and local, for big salaries, for big salary raises, for salary raises for the Department of Justice and Department of Trademarks and Department of Agriculture, for things that have nothing to do with the stimulus economy. Mitch McConnell's refusal to do that may have ultimately helped his reelection campaign and his donation campaign. And finally, let's go to Trump and McConnell, because that's his video. Trump and McConnell is actually Trump and McConnell, not Trump, McConnell versus Trump. Because in these final days before the election, the president is really doing what he often does quite well, campaigning for his party. A president who campaigns for his party or a presidential candidate who campaigns for his party has always been a big issue in this country. Some presidents have been very good at it. Some have not. Obama was an example. Obama had a very good ecosystem to get himself elected, but did not use that ecosystem for his Senate and, Rep and his uh, House members. That was very well documented at the time. It's not a partisan statement. It's just that his system for getting himself elected did not correlate to congressional leaders. Well, Trump is sending out Mike Pompeo, Mike Pence, and all the members of his cabinet to the extent he can to the Senate swing states because he wants to win the Senate. He wants Mitch back. And this is despite all the tensions that we've heard about Mitch and the president in recent days. Ultimately, the tensions never manifested themselves. So as we sit here today, what does this mean for your stimulus? When could you see a stimulus check? How could you see a stimulus check? You know, um, it, 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 it would... It would require me to go through all the permutations of what could happen on election night. And I don't think that's a, a service for me right for you right now to say Senate does this and the president. Because ultimately, we may not know anything on, on election night. And it's too hard to predict the situation. What's important for you to understand is that the push, push, push of the Purple Power, the followers of this channel, needs to be underway. Because we could be at this discussion for more than just up to election night. We could be in them for several days thereafter as races are contested and, and, and races are, are runoffs. There needs to be a discussion about how much stimulus you need and how much stimulus you're owed. You're owed the first stimulus checks. You're owed the second stimulus checks. And you're owed the third stimulus, third stimulus checks. I'm pushing very hard for understanding that you need to be paid up to everything you've endured to this point, and that members of Congress, senators and, and, and House members need to start writing legislation for the upcoming pandemic lockdowns so that they have ready more stimulus checks going forward, more FPC going forward, more hazard pay going forward. It's been discussed, 
but it hasn't been written. Let me go with some of the com incredible comments and questions from yesterday. Linda, well, that was nice, but we need money now. Stop putting it off. William Bork, too bad the House of Congress has, put, has the purse strings of the nation. Um, Barbara Scarpa, Nancy needs to get a grip. Us Americans are suffering. Debbie, get rid of Nancy Pelosi. Why would she, what would she do if her shoes were on the other foot? I'm so sick of hearing about Nancy. Um, Matthew, we're not going to let Nancy have her way or highway here in Georgia. Amen. I love that. Um, if you have questions or comments in today's video, drop them in the comments below. I might feature them in tomorrow's recording. Coming up next is Pelosi versus Mnuchin. Please do not miss Pelosi versus Mnuchin because I'm going to go over really why the situation on Pelosi and Mnuchin may totally change the night after the elections. It's something you cannot miss. Go to the front of the channel and subscribe. Subscribe because we're going to get through this together and we're going to figure it out and we're not going to predict or predate <laughs> or backdate uh, any of our stimulus relief. We're going to get through this together. It's going to be a confusing path, but we will get through this together. Also, like this video. Coming up next, of course, is Pelosi vs. Mnuchin. As always, stay informed, stay smiling, and save LA for more.